Tara Horn here from Simple Day, and my goal is to make productivity simple using Monday.com. Today, I wanted to show you how you can use a mirrored status column to trigger automations on, a, on the board where the status column is being mirrored to. So I just want to show you the basic setup. You can see that we have two boards here. We have a project overview boards and a project boards. The project boards it has some columns. The most important column to have is the status overview column, which is actually a mirror from the project overview board. So here you can see by this green line, it shows you that it's a mirror. And you can see over here that here I have the project status. So what I basically want to do is in my project overview board, I want to see the overview of each project. And here, when I make a change here, I want to see it on the other board. However, on this board, I also want to do things like based on this status, move an item to a different group. Like if status would change, let's say to waiting for payment, I would want it to move to the waiting for payment group. So the way that you do this is what you need to do is you need to set up a two status columns. So I have one status column that's actually on my projects board, but I'm not gonna use this. I can even hide it or restrict viewing of it. And then I'm gonna have a status column that I'm pulling as a mirror from my overview board. And I'm gonna to go to the automation center. And the important thing is this automation, it's not right now, unfortunately, it's not a custom automation. You have to go to the automation center and use one of their pre-written recipes. So if you go to status change, what I'm going to do is I am going to look for the one that I want. Hold on. Here, so when, one second. Sorry, I just lost it. The automation is when, hold on, here. When status changes to something, change another status to something. So I'm just going to show you. If I would click on status, so here I can see both my status columns, my overview board and my project board. So this is really important because I need to be able to, to use this. So I'm just going to show you the automation because I already set it up. So my automation is here. Um, what I did is when status overview board changes to working on it, let's say, so I'm going to change the status column on this specific board to working on it. And I basically matched all of the automations. So that way, this is a two-step process. I matched automations and when the mirrored column changes to not started, so then the one on this board changes to not started. And the same with any other thing. And then I was able to, on top of that build, when status changes to working on it, um, so I'm gonna move it to the in-progress group. So I'll show you what happens. So you can see here right now, all the statuses are not started. And over here, you can see that, which this is our mirror column. And over here, you can see that all the status are not column. So I'm going to take item one and I'm going to change it to working on it. So what it's going to do is going to trigger this to be working on it. And then it's going to move it. See, it just moves it to my group. Item number two, let's say I'm going to mark this as done. And you'll see it's going to change this in a minute to done. And now it moves it to my group. So let's just remember item one is working on it and item two is done. Now, if I go back to my original board, you can see item one, which is connected to project one, is working on it. And item two is moved to the done board, the done group. So this is a really cool trick that you can use to use the mirror status in a mirror column. So you don't need to use two different statuses, but you'll automatically have the same information on two different boards. Hope this is helpful in using a mirror column for automations. And let me know if there's anything I can help with.